Come on, lads. You gotta cut me a break every now and again. A little bit of a throwback for these weekend videos. Usually more of our fun stories. I don't know if I would call this necessarily a fun story out there. A joke maybe taken a bit too far, stemming from the Counter-Strike scene. Thanks to Ryan at Rushby Media, by the way, for bringing more light to this topic. That being what I was actually DM'd by a couple people out there, just to mention, uh, unfortunately so, over the past couple of years, as we do the news, uh, we do lose a lot of figures when it comes time for esports and gaming, and we do cover at least a few of those instances and have over the past couple of years. So from time to time, I do get DMs to mention other key figures out there from a different esports scene, whether it be Counter-Strike, whether it be Call of Duty or another scene as well. If someone of note does pass away, to even briefly mention them during a video, you know, to draw more attention and pay respects, I think is okay. So every now and again, I do get DMs, as I did in this case as well, to actually cover the story of a younger CSGO player, no one of, I would say, any, any pro levelmanship and ESCA player out there, but someone who actually caught traction this past week for potentially, you know, passing away due to a car crash. And so I, I did consider it lightly. And uh, uh, luckily enough, when it came time for this instance, I, I did not cover it at the point of time where a couple days later it, it came true that um, the person had actually faked their death via car crash. And again, all this happening last week as Ryan from Rushby Media says, tonight in North America, we learned that the kid who supposedly died in a car crash days ago is actually alive and still playing ESCA matches. As we see one of his supposed teammates saying, rip Miho, he was a good kid, it really sucks what happened. Someone said, wait, what happened? And his teammate replies, a car crash. And another came out and said, I talked to Miho not even four hours ago. This is incredibly sad to hear. Another soul lost from our community. It truly shows how fragile our lives can be. My condolences go out to his family and friends. Rest in peace. Miss spelling peace. And then a screenshot showing the same Miho still playing in ESCA matches days later after a car crash that supposedly took his life. Now, ever since then, Miho has responded about this on Twitter as well, saying, you kids are all retarded. I see that you think I faked a death to get unbanned on ESCA. Like, yay! Yeah, it was a meme that me and my friends made that blew up for no reason. So after reading that well-worded and orchestrated message, I'm just... <laughs> I'm left wondering what just happened in this community out there. Luckily enough, I did not cover this one. It makes me question covering them in the future. At what point in time do you and your homies get together and say, yo, let's fake your death. And especially the one message is saying condolences and, and, and losing another soul of this community. Of course, we're going to think it's what you expect people to think that you're joking about the death of your friend. I, I just don't understand the process of thoughts that come down to this. It's kind of unfortunate though, because I don't think even they would have expected it to blow up as it did. Unfortunately, it did. And now we're left wondering what the heck went through your head. And I will say this, luckily enough, it actually was fake. I'm glad you're alive, I'm glad you're living, I'm glad you're playing ESCA matches, and I hope you can improve for the future. I don't know if he actually signed for a Valorant org, I, I highly doubt it, but we'll see what the future of this man is. And maybe, just maybe, this is the spark that Miho needs to start his career in Counter-Strike or Valorant, whatever it might be. This could be your backbone, if you're watching this somehow, this could be your story from faking your own death via car crash to becoming a pro player in esports, if that ever becomes a thing, I can promise you I will cover that here. Best of luck going forward. I I'm glad you are alive. It's just crazy to see a CSGO player faking his own death and then days later being found out on ESCA. Uh, I never thought I'd be covering this for a little bit of a side story, a weekend fun story out there. What do you guys think? Until next time, drink your water, drink your coffee, okay? I'll see you guys back here sometime soon. Mad madness.